So let us start with the rhythm consistency. I believe you already know how it measured, but still let us a little bit touch on this. So the rhythm metric is measured by the steps horse is doing on every gate. And the equistic, the saddle clip, count is very precisely. But there is one but here. Equistic cannot project you the rhythm per second. It's project you the rhythm for the training session. It's very important to know because this explains you how chart is designed. Because the rhythm charts designed in a way it helps you to see all steps at once, which you meant made during whole training session. So one small single chart showing you the old tenure of your of your training, 10 minutes, five minutes, or 50 minutes it is, it was, you will be seeing all of these steps in one chart. What it tells you about? It tells you how the, not just the number of uh, steps done per minute, which is BPMs, but it tells you about how regular, how stable the rhythm was in the training session. And this is critical element showing you horse capability to do practices you want horse to make in this training session with consistent rhythm. Because consistency means maturity. Maturity explains horse ability to perform what you want from the horse now in the consistent level. And the charts may be very different. And the shape of these charts explains you uh, the, how consistency was uh, for, you, for your horse. So let us look at those three examples. So those three charts, all of them about the rhythm, and this is trot rhythm, I pick it just an example, and you see they differ. They all the same color, but they differ in shape. And what we can say if we compare them, uh, we will be clearly learning from this chart on the just fresh uh, quick view that number one chart is very consistent rhythm. And number three is this very non-consistent or inconsistent rhythm. And the difference between them is, is huge in terms of horse ability to perform. To, to perform the training session with rhythm like a needle means horse is very well trained and is capable to move like a machine in very unified durations of each step. I very rarely uh, seen these charts in the practice, but it happened horses like this are, exist and high level horses are able to keep whole training session with this level of rhythm, of consistency of the rhythm. Uh, how we compare this, how we learn the difference, we compare the base of those charts. The wider the base, you can see uh, on the right, on the number three chart, the, the base of the chart is very wide. It's actually 30 uh, BPMs wide, almost 22, 23 uh, BPMs, while on the left side chart number one is just 10 BPMs difference. So for the entire session, horse shaped uh, the, the rhythm steps number per minute just in 10 BPMs. It's very, very consistent. But this is not the only. You also can see the shape from the uh, needle. So if you would look at this from the top, you will see very narrow, like a needle, uh, number one chart, and very wide, uh, like, like a plateau chart of number three. Because even if it's consistent in some way, it also not table. So there is no dominated rhythm. So the dominated rhythm is weight. It's kind of five to 10 uh, BPMs wider. Means on the horse with a chart number three is actually not able to perform consistent exercises almost at all, but not only. And also you can see here is a kind of the additional step or stir uh, in the chart showing that there are two actually rhythms. So because it was some moment of the training when horse was not able to keep the same rhythm, it was making quicker steps because more steps per minute means steps became shorter or quicker and horse was moving uh, kind of uh, doing more steps uh, per minute because it was asked to do something. Maybe it was 
try to do an extension in this moment, but it wasn't really extension. It was just increase number of steps per second, per minute. So that's why we can see those charts uh, quickly and learn that much just comparing those three uh, basic charts of acoustics. And if we combine those three charts and play them to the uh, chart of the trend for rhythm, we may find the same charts uh, on this uh, right side uh, trend. So if you would guess what date of the training was the chart number one, based on what you see uh, on the trend chart. Let me give you some hints here. So the wider green zone on the trend chart on the history means it was broader deviation during the training session. So it was less consistent, the, tr the trot on this moment. And the narrow the green zone, the more consistent rhythm was on the training session. So if you try to ask, right, if you able to answer my question, please unmute yourself and give me the answer. What date uh, of the training was with this very precise, very consistent rhythm? Uh, can you can you do this? Any December 19. 19. 19 is the final date here. You can see on the 19. Uh, let me pick a green color and. A, Try to do this like here. So 19 is here, right? So the 19 date, you see very wide zone. Green zone, the light green zone is explaining you the diversity of the rhythm within this date. So the dot is high. So it was average level of the rhythm was high. It was above 140 BPMs on this date because here is a dot. But you see the zone means in this date, horse was performing as slow as here and as fast as there, but it's still not consistent. So definitely not 19th. Be the 15th. Yeah, this one. So you see, here is the training session where the horse just perform as, as a machine. It was nothing else, just specific rhythm. It was one, three, six uh, BPMs uh, of uh, trot for the training session. And you easily can see that how it was evolving over time. So from the chart, we cannot say what happened, how different was the training sessions and why it happened that horse was able to perform this way. But definitely there was some exercises done here, which horse can perform perfectly. While here, we can easily say here horse was learning to do something because she or he wasn't able to move equally with the same rhythm during whole training session. This day was really strange. While we see very consistent, uh, it wasn't any wide zone of uh, inconsistency in terms of number of steps, but the level of uh, number of BPM is very high for this horse. So it's kind of artificial for the horse, but we will learn later because you can see here, there are several training sessions in one day. I will tell you later what was it. It was designed specifically for the exercises, but those are different training sessions. So thank you for answer. Great, let's move us forward. 